as as a new yachtsman, um, I know that quite often we should expect that we're going to need a captain while we move the boat because the new yachtsman doesn't have the resume and the experience to necessarily operate the boat himself. Um, what does that look like? Do I, do I have to employ somebody full time or only when the boat is moving? What do you typically see from the insurance companies as a requirement for a ca licensed captain? Sure, sure. Good, good question, Bill. And, uh, and, and it's a question that has a, a couple of different answers or several different answers, depending on uh, an insured's uh, experience and ownership that they're bringing to the table with the new vessel. Uh, the length and value of the vessel and, and where that vessel is going to be uh, primarily moored uh, on a year round basis. So uh, typically if, if an insured, the way the market is, uh, typically underwriters look for uh, jumps in size of no greater than 10 foot increments into a vessel that they're buying in, versus what they're coming from. So if they've owned the 35, ideally an insured, an underwriter would be looking at a maximum of a purchase vessel of 45. Some companies have, can go up to 15 feet and other companies will have a little bit of leeway in there, depending on the experience that a, a client might bring to the table. He might have a lot of operating experience we can really build into his resume for underwriting. Or he might have been a captain or a licensed captain himself at some point, which we can bring in uh, uh, to underwriting as well. So there's there's those variables that come in. Um, but if a captain is required, say for instance, an, a, a new owner is jumping oh maybe 18 feet in size, and he's got pretty good experience, but it's not enough for an underwriter to say, hey, we're good without any captain training. We've got options where uh, they would uh, quote or the quote would be presented with the requirement that the, uh, the buyer, the new boat buyer, work with the captain for an X amount of time or an X number of hours, for instance. And that can range. It can go from 20 hours, they might say 30 hours, or, or they might even say an undetermined amount of time until the point where the captain will submit a captain sign-off form, a competency of operation form. And we've got those forms in house. So the captain after his training can fill that out, send it in we, to us, we submit it to underwriters, the underwriters review it, everything looks good on the sign off form from the captain, then the requirement of having the captain on the uh, policy is, is lifted. And now the insured is operating on his own uh, and moving forward from there.